respected investor in the world is undoubtedly Warren Buffett. If others had to come out with inventions ahead of their time to be on the top of Forbes list, this man has been the second richest man in the world for many years in a row by simply investing. And what sets him apart from others is that he started with absolutely nothing. Today, we'll take a look at how Warren Buffett invests and how exactly he made over $85 billion. But first, let's take a look at how Buffett got into the investing in the first place. Warren Buffett grew up in an average family, so he quickly learned the value of money. At the age of 13, he started delivering newspapers, selling magazines and made a substantial amount of money, which he invested later on into 40 acres of farmland. He realized that if he wants to grow faster, he needs to start a business. So when he turned 15, he used his savings to buy pinball machines and place them in barber shops. Within a few months, he owned three different machines and then sold the business for $1,200 or over $16,000 in today's money. Fortunately, he was rejected by Harvard Business School because then he applied to Columbia Business School where he met his mentor, Benjamin Graham. Graham taught him how to win consistently in the stock market without speculations. His method was simple, find undervalued companies, stocks that are priced lower than they actually worth. Buffett quickly realized the potential of this strategy, so he went to work with his mentor at his investment partnership where he mastered this method. When Graham decided to retire, Buffett has already saved up around $150,000 or $1.5 million in today's money, so he decided to start his own investment partnership. He applied the same strategy, but in general, he was mainly looking for small companies that are doing just good enough but still are undervalued, such as Dempster Mill, a windmill manufacturing company which was a struggling business at the time. It was trading at $18 per share, but Buffett realized that company's assets worth $75 per share. So even if the company goes bankrupt, assets could be sold and he would still make a profit. So over the next couple of years, he kept acquiring Dempster's Mill shares until he became the majority shareholder. In order to make a good profit from his investment, Buffett changed the management, improved the operations, and then sold the company three times higher than the amount he invested. Warren Buffett made multiple similar investments where he made a substantial profit. And in less than five years of starting his partnership, the value of his investments grew to millions of dollars. In fact, his personal wealth finally crossed a million dollars. After acquiring Bershka Hathaway, his approach to investing changed. Instead of focusing on small struggling companies, he started buying more successful companies that are undervalued, such as the American Express. But what actually brought him up to the top of Forbes list is the insurance business. Buffett realized that insurance companies work exactly like banks. You regularly pay your premium, for example, but only get your money back if you get into an accident. So insurance companies have a constant flow of cash which are technically considered liabilities, exactly like the money you deposit into a bank. Suddenly, Warren Buffett found himself having access to enormous amount of money, which he quickly started investing in the right companies. And in the next few years, his personal net worth crossed a billion dollars. He kept doubling his net worth every few years by investing in some of the most successful companies such as Coca-Cola, Bank of America, GM and so on, until he became the richest man in the world in 2008. Buffett didn't achieve that by simply speculating and hoping to win, but rather understood how the stock market works and consistently used the same strategy. The good news is that you can also learn how the stock market works and certainly be like Warren Buffett if you put the effort.